Scott here again with another YouTube video. So we're going to do something slightly different this time. I'm going to do a little bit of a how-to. So um, I needed to do some work to the ruckus and I kept seeing a lot of questions. I had a lot of questions so I figured I'd make a little video. Um, just a uh, warning, I've never actually done this on a ruckus before. So we'll see. If it gets screwed up then at least you guys will know what not to do. Um, but what we're going to do is we're going to do a wire tuck on my GY6 swapped zoomer or ruckus. So let me show you what we got going on here. I got it set up in my workshop over here, aka my living room. So my harness comes down through here and as you can see there's all kinds of wires and it's just, it's a mess. So what I want to do is I want to run the wires up through here, this little tube, and it's going to come through here and back out and then it'll come out back there and so most of the wire will be hitting hidden and what is there will be extremely short uh, but the problem is the tube here is hollow however here it needs drilled out so the big question is how do you drill this out so what you do is you come in through an angle and drill a hole you're gonna start with a small pilot hole and then uh, you're going to keep enlarging it and you can even use a step bit or whatnot. So what we're going to do right here I'm going to show you is I'm going to drill a little pilot hole and uh, we'll get set up. So today I went and bought some a drill bit kit. So I have some fresh drill bits of different sizes and we'll get started. Um, right now I'm starting with a smaller one. So I have a kind of a pilot hole and it's a little easier to drill out. It's a 3 16 um, there's no real set size on what you need to do. It just needs to be a smaller size. So we're going to go ahead and get that set up. All right, guys, we got you set up to where you can see. So this is where we're going to be drilling out right here. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to stick some tape around right here, just in case when I go at an angle, I bump this. It doesn't start scratching up here. Um, I will be putting on some frame caps. However, I don't, still don't want to scratch it up. Um, Best bet is obviously to do this before you powder coat, but it was kind of an afterthought and um, it's kind of my first build, so I'm still learning as I go along. But um, shouldn't be too bad if you're not painting yours or you already have it painted or powder coated like me. Um, all you need to do is just be a little careful. So really any type of tape here will work. Uh, if you use like a painter's tape or a masking tape, just make sure that you put a few layers on there otherwise one little bump it'll just go right through the tape um, I'm gonna use duct tape because it's gonna be thicker and it's gonna allow me a little more protection and I had it readily available um, and I'm not too worried about it I mean I'll have to clean off the glue or the stickiness uh, but that's not too big of a deal for me but it's not gonna pull anything off because it's powder coated and it's on there real good if you have a good paint um, if you had it professionally done should be the same way but um if you've got anything else done that might be a little worrisome with something a little more sticky then uh, you might want to use some painters tape just to kind of double up or something plus I've got uh, some wax on mine so the tape doesn't stick real good which is actually gonna work in my benefit for a change so when I go to pull it back off it shouldn't be too bad I might just have to clean off a little residue um, I'm just gonna stick a bunch of tape on there I'm not worried about how it looks I'm gonna get it on there real good put it in a few different areas just to be sure because I like I said I don't want to mess up my fresh powder coat um, so I'm just gonna kind of protect this lip right here let's see if you guys can see down in here so you see down in here right here is where I'm gonna be drilling my hole so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna start with the pilot hole what I'm gonna do is go nice and slow at an angle right here and hope for the best so let's give it a shot so coming in at an angle is a little more of a pain than I had originally anticipated and I'm definitely glad I put some tape up there because I can see it's really hard to get that angle. Just keeps trying to walk the drill bit. So it's 
Not really trying to drill a straight hole in it. Let's see what we got here though. Let's see if we can't get a little better angle straddling the bike. Well, that's not working at all. All right, guys, I had to get a different idea here. So what I've done, I couldn't find my punch, so I used a screwdriver. What I did is I grabbed a screwdriver, I stuck it down in there, hit it a few good times, real good times with a hammer. What that did is caused a little dimple down in there. So that way I can get my drill kind of in here, a little bit of an angle, a um, little bit straight as much as I can without scratching anything or damaging anything. And that'll keep the drill bit from trying to walk back. I'm trying to see if you guys, make sure you guys can see. So what I'm gonna do now is just try to drill it out real slow. I ended up going with a smaller drill bit. Now I'm at a 3.30 seconds. So I'm just gonna go real slow. It's actually trying to drill it out now. So I think we might be getting somewhere. Nice and slow so it can catch, it doesn't just burn it up. Well, it looks like we're finally getting somewhere at least. These drill bits seem to suck even though they're brand new. Seems like I can get just a little bit in there and that's it. Oh, I see a hole. Look at that. Woo! That was a lot more of a pain than I was expecting. Looks like I got a small scratch, but the frame cap will cover that. I didn't eat it up too much. Let's see if I can get in there and show you guys the little hole I'll take this off I need some new one anyways all right so let's see if you guys can see the hole down in there now what I can do with the hole started is I can drill a little bigger hole at more of an angle and I'll keep working my way up till it's big enough to fit some wires through there all right guys so I actually got a hole drilled in there um, you can see inside around the hole there's some scratches but There'll be wires and a frame cap over it, so no big deal. So, this ended up being getting the hole a little bit more of a pain in the ass than I had originally thought or planned. I didn't think the hole would be that difficult to drill. So, a couple mistakes I knew I made. One I could fix after I uh, fiddled with it a little bit is definitely take a punch and kind of make a dent or an indention right there. Otherwise, when you got the drill bit and you start drilling at an angle, it's just gonna wanna walk over and you're not gonna be able to drill a hole. After I made that little indention, that was great. Um, I got it with a small drill bit and I stepped my way up. Mistake number two I made, let's see if we got one of these here, I'll show you a bigger one. Mistake number two is I went and bought new drill bits, but you see how these are, are round and smooth? So I would recommend getting the ones that are kind of um, flat edged so it has something to bite because on my drill right here no matter how tight i tried to get that on there um, when it goes in that aluminum on the frame it catches real hard and it was wanting to spin in here as you can see it already kind of spun and spun some of this stuff off so it's wanting to spin no matter how tight i got it so a drill bit with some flat edges because the way you go in and it catches it's going to make it a little more difficult if you go out and buy new drill bits um, look for that something that's more of kind of like an octagon if you're using what you got i got a hole in mine obviously that works so hopefully it was helpful even though it didn't uh, go as smoothly or it wasn't as easy as i thought it was um i cut some of the struggling out 
um, but you saw me struggle a little bit in the beginning. Uh, so you can learn from my mistakes. Hopefully this video helped out. Uh, next time we're going to try to run the wires up through there and we're going to be drilling a hole in the front frame part. If you see the wire comes down here. I have a frame cover. I want it to come inside the frame cover and come in like right inside here and then run through but it'll come back through over here so really my goal is to minimize the amount of wires you see um, as you can see right now I have some excess uh, as long as, as well as really honestly shit's just going everywhere um, I wanted to see if I can get the bike started because I had some problems with the zoomer ECU being different than the ruckus ECU um, so I kind of learned that the hard way but then once I got it together and running it was down for like almost a year while I was building parts and having powder coat done and whatnot that I've just I've been having so much fun riding it that I haven't really wanted to take anything on the bike apart. But um, tune in next time. We'll do a little more work. I'll have stuff a little planned out. Uh, before I forget, one thing I will say is putting the tape around that hole right there was key. That definitely, if you want to protect your paint or your powder coat, most definitely put some tape there put a lot of tape the duct tape ended up kind of getting a little bit ripped and i had a couple um layers on there so if you're using masking tape you're going to want to put a lot on there definitely make sure you got something if you can cover it with anything thick um just so when the tip the side of the drill bit going at an angle kind of hits that you don't scratch up your stuff um tune in next time if you haven't already mash that subscribe button check out some more of my videos and uh we'll be back at you again don't forget uh have fun ride safe